Yeah. I should uh, the old head on over like this. Yeah, Apple tries to make uh, less wires in this world. I don't know if it works. Anyway, so here I am. Better pour some coffee. I had to retreat into our converted garage, which is now our storeroom, because the the dust, Saharan dust, that is swirling all over the Caribbean and Florida and the Gulf of Mexico and causing some strange weather patterns is um, a trapping heat here in the old Sunshine State. And the way the sunshine is like, whoa! Yesterday uh, wasn't so bad in the morning, but in the afternoon, I couldn't be in the Florida room because it was just with the flat roof was just heating up, which just makes me real happy. We're replacing the dang thing and putting some insulation in there, which, yeah, well, it's an old house. We got to do a lot of work. Anyway, here I am. I guess you don't want to hear about that. You want to hear about what is this, this guy going to do today? So let me um, uh, da 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 uh, microphone testing one two three okay. Ah! Anyway, green screen. Can I have a green screen? No, I don't have a green screen. Yeah, I don't want to do green screen. Okay, why would I want to do that? So, uh, I'll just do the application window today. And this is what we were doing yesterday. Uh, probably my gardener will show up today and make a lot of noise. Here, this is what we were doing yesterday, and uh, this is what I'm going to do later on if I uh, finish this up, which is a good chance we will. There's not much to do. And let's look at page 85 also, because we want some continuity in color. So uh, let's... Uh, Lock all these. There's no reason to have them unlocked. That way I can actually look at this without worrying about doing something and uh, messing, messing things up. So here we go. Now here we are at 86. And I should probably... Uh, lock that layer too because I don't think I'm going to do any drawing here. I'm at the point where I think I'm just adding shadows. Uh, my buddy in hung Hungary is still has his Kickstarter campaign going on. So you should go get yourself in on that. There's lots of cool people involved in his uh, comic. And you want to get in on that. Let me see. Shadow. So if you're going to do Shadow, I like this new feature where they... Um, it's not perfect because I would rather have it here where I know that I haven't got any... But uh, let's just try that. Okay, let's see how. Um, how that works. Okay. Maybe we could bring this down a little bit. 
Yeah. I had it. That's not too bad. Yeah. So here we are with Shadow and. Uh, See if I can just big swatches of a shadow here. And then um, let's bring uh, all this as in shadow. So, I'm formulating the script for the second book in this trilogy. It should be fun. See, Blue Boy Shadow should be falling on these guys. Yeah, a little more interaction with the old people. Bye. Okay. It's not going to take a whole lot of time to finish this up today. Cause it's just a matter of shadows. 
a few little spots where I have to add some color. Darkened areas here to give the idea that ambient light is breaking up the shadow a little bit. See if I can smudge that a bit. It's not what I want to do. Let me see. Is he going to be able to swim today? Barney swim day today. Best thing we can do for him is let him swim. Keeps him fit. Just soften up some of these edges. Okay, then over here. Like my gardeners here today, he's always making a lot of noise. Oh well. Yep, he's here. <laughs> Ooh, I forgot to put green. Oh, I forgot to color, do a little coloring here. Better do that before I get into anything else. Color. Okay, Jen. Uh, it could be a dingling. I want to be. There we go. This boys. We're in this color. Uh, 
Okay. Well, let me see. I have to fix that a little bit. Okay, that's a little better. Uh. Does not thrill me that my house looks like a a jungle. So I have to have a gardener that will keep it from uh, growing over, looking like you're out in the middle of a rainforest. Uh, and I have come to the conclusion I'm too old to uh, get up on ladders to trim 15 foot high hedges dang oh god help me well that goes color. He's being shadow. That's where it needs to be. And it needs to um, be somewhat over here. Uh, da 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 da. Okay. Put some shadow down here. The shadow only works when it uh, has something to contrast itself with so we'll do it that right there then we got a little bit of shadow back here okay Okay, let me see. Boo, 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 boo. And then a little bit of shadow over Paw's face. A little film noir shadow, shadowing. I like that. Oh. <sighs> 
I love the fact that I'm not getting a rapid slideshow and drop frames from everything that I do now that I got this much better iMac or better than what I had and I think I'll uh, do that let me see if that works Yeah, I just do it like that, and then maybe like that. Yep. Ah, like that. Okay. Um. B D D D D D D. I'm almost finished with this. You see the little shadows of this piece of wood that Paw and Willard are working on carving. Uh. Na, 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 na. Okay, what about this boy's face? Oh, that's not what I wanted. Actually, that does look kind of good. Yeah. Okay. It's weird how you get this affinity for fictional characters that you created. So you be able to write, do the story, you have to start, they start getting in your head and you start saying, okay, what would he do under these circumstances and what's going on in his head at this da 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 makes a creation of something like this very strange but everybody everybody who writes uh says that's what happens that the character in a way takes over it tells you what it would do in these circumstances Uh, what do we got here? Got this little yellow tint of yellow orange halo going around everything, kind of, which is kind of nice. <laughs> Works pretty well. And we save that. And see what we got. Hmm. Okay. I think I can live with that. So, on to page 87, which is not what that is. This is what page 87 is going to look like. So, I got to mess around with that. Where'd all this stuff come from? Okay. Oh, from that. Okay. Yeah, I sometimes. Um, okay, got your review. This is the. I just opened up another. Okay, watercolor. Oh, did I do that on this page? 
I don't think so. Oh, so I gotta wait. Use this watercolor. Copy. Okay. Then I just paste it. And I get my watercolor effect. Capacity, no, not 70%. Is your yeah. Well, it should probably, uh, not 70, but maybe 85%. And then I, over here, I can do the same thing. Now I got my watercolor. Yep. Okay, I'm still, I'm still in grayscale here. So I might as well take advantage of it. Uh, here's the border. Okay. Oh, they're saving it to the Adobe Cloud as I work. Well, that's good. So... Uh, oh, you hear that? Uh, only happens on every other Wednesday. Thank God it only happens every other Wednesday. Rada, 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 rada. Okay, let's move this over here. I'm gonna mute my uh, microphone for just a minute until this gets really a little less uh, obnoxious. So don't expect me to say anything.
Okay, I'm unmuting now because my uh, my gardener is not making so much noise, and that's just part of life. Okay, and bring this down. Oh, I don't have to do that again, do I? No. That was the only one I'm going to do. So I can delete that. Okay. So. Take layer one. And. Bring it up a bit. Yeah, like that. That'd be all right. <laughs> oh. And I have to take this. And nudge it up. About like that. And then I have to erase this part. Okay. And what was it? Was it? Oh, that, that's. And I have white underneath that, so I can. Uh, that's not what I want to do. Okay. Down here in this layer, I can get rid of some of this. all that I see Okay. I'll hold this down here, but I think I may just leave that there. May just leave that as it is. That's a bad. Okay, now you're watching me do all my technical work. I have to Still in grayscale. Adjust my levels so it makes this mimic ink. Okay, now I'm mimicking ink. You know, I did it with a mechanical pencil. Bob, 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 bob. Mm -hmm.
Well, sweetie, you got a day off. You don't have to. Spend an hour and a half walk the dog. Which I never. I could do that at one time, but I can't do that anymore. When I had my collie, I'd walk him for an hour and a half, but I was, what? I was 50 years old. I could do that at 50. Can't do that at 67. I just, no, I'm going to be able to keep that one up. Oh. I probably should do a little bit of cleaning up here. Keep it up about. Oh, what's this? Oh, I see. Oh, that's that's such a worry about that, Dave. It's an actual board. It's not just one that I missed. I tell you, it's getting old. It's rough. Okay. Oh, now I see what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna. Okay, that's better. Boop, 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 boop. Uh, I maybe should redraw this guy's face a little bit. And get rid of some of these. They really don't make a lot of sense. Oh. Yeah, it's a little bit better. And very lightly do this. And it's, he doesn't really have that Roman, much of a Roman nose. Okay, play around with this a little bit more. I love this little Kyle watercolor brush that comes with Adobe Cloud 
Dang, they're nice. Of course, these guys all owe all of this to Rick Barry. He's the one who basically started all this when it comes to digital uh, illustration. Uh, he's the guy who inspired everybody just to even do this. That's probably why Photoshop got into this stuff where you could draw with it with a Rick. Proud to have known the guy since we were 20. Dang, what a crazy time back in Colorado in 73. Uh, de -de 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 -de. So what's this looking like on uh, Facebook? Ba -da 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 -da. Only two away from having 1,100 people following this Facebook page of mine. Facebook page of mine. That's not bad. So it's looking good. So. Uh, Everything just flows as smooth as water out of a jug. Amazing, huh? I kept saying, I got to get another computer. I got to get another computer. And then I just, you know, put up with it for a couple of months. And then I just decided, hey, maybe I can go get one. And I did the budget and I said, I can do this. Couldn't get a new one. I, if I was going to get something new and I had unlimited funds, I'd get one of those new Mac Pros that look like, a, really do look like a cheese grater. That's what I'd probably go get. Though, but those things are like $15,000 to get yourself a really good setup. But those things scream. I don't need screaming. I just need this just need um, um, it to uh, faithfully follow me old cursor when I draw. That's all I need. I don't need anything else. That's for people who are like doing heavy duty video and stuff like that. It's not me. Cool for that stuff. I'm old school. That's why everything I'm doing here is so retro. I don't know how to do anything else. Not like I'm harking back to something. I am that something. <laughs> it's the way I did it back in the 70s. 
everything was analog, but at least you got this. I can do undos. I can save this to the cloud. It's, it tells me it's saving as I walk, as I work. They're saving to the cloud. That's cool. Look at that. I just do, 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 paw a little bit more. Okay. Let me clean this up a little bit. I don't know. I better clean that up a little bit. Yeah, that doesn't go straight through. Not a see-through towel. I haven't checked uh, YouTube, but I haven't said anything that would tick them off. Tick off, not them, their computers. Since they don't have anybody really working <laughs> for anything. <laughs> Takes them days to get caught up to what their artificial intelligence is doing. Yeah, I'm doing all right. <clears throat> Yep, everything's fine. Do 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 do. So am I? Yeah, I'm cleaning this up too. Tiniest bit there, tiniest bit here. D d d d d. No, 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 no. Yeah, I think I need to clean up some of this. Just a little bit. I don't remember why. I I think this is one of those deals where I used carbon paper. Probably to trace my my layouts onto a piece of bristle board and then I the carbon paper is a little bit difficult to erase so don't worry about it too much anyway this is part of the artifacts of uh, creation which in the modernist world is not a bad thing think about Giacometti who never seemed to erase anything. Just kept adding and adding and adding. La 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 la. Okay. I got that. Okay, I have a, maybe just a tiny bit of Getting rid of that, getting rid of this. Make pause mustache a little more. Yeah. My great great grandfather James 
had a mustache just like this. It's a heck of a mustache, fairly popular for men who uh, grew up in the late 19th century. That kind of uh, drooping handlebar mustache that only stood up when you put mustache wax on it and who's got time for that ah more cleaning up unless you've been in a bar fight okay and then uh give blue boy some eyebrows yeah i didn't yeah okay Uh-oh, they're trimming hedges again. Oh, well. Ah, there we go. There's something I really need to clean up. Do, 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 do. If you're real careful, you can get a tapered line even with the uh, eraser. This didn't turn out too bad. A uh, few little things down here. Okay, so what we got here? <sighs> That's looking okay. So let's lock that thing right there and then uh, turn this into a CMYK <laughs> flatten it and void it and 
And that means that the tone will be uh, that color. But of course it has to uh, multiply. La 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 la. Okay. And uh, bring it down to about, yeah, 78. Okay, now I gotta start to messing around with uh, the uh, lights and dark. So this is Wednesday. I've got uh, 86 is done. 85 was the end of uh, 80. Let me see. I got um, 82, 83, 84, 85. So this is next week's finished. I'm starting on the next week. Okay, this is the end of next week. This is the beginning of next week. This is the second page of next week. Okay, so I got to do this. And then 88, which I may have to do some redrawing on that. Don't worry about that today. <sighs> Enlarge the sucker so I can see it. And uh, okay, <laughs> no, 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 no. Okay. Okay. So, no, 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 no. Let me look at my previous page. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So we're going to say the sun's coming in from here. Damn, I'm already hungry. I ate before I started this today, and I'm already hungry. What a travesty. Oh, well.
Okay. Do 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 do. <sighs> ah, okay. 
Yeah, I got that done. I can lock that. I got my watercolor. Okay, now I go to color. So, might as well start out with the flesh tones, the easiest thing to, to navigate. Oh, I want normal. Can't do that. Okay. See, pause face. Okay, I have all the four. <laughs> Didn't get that. What is it? Uh, eleven, eleven. That's cool. So it's been uh, one hour, eleven minutes. I went to a Cracker Barrel last Friday after picking up this uh, computer. 
and they were selling Johnny Cash LPs. I'm not talking about cassettes. I'm not talking about CDs. They're talking about vinyl records. Johnny Cash. I was looking at that and saying, that's the strangest connection that one of Bob Dylan's idols. Bob Dylan was Johnny Cash. That to me is uh, kind of weird because I think of Johnny Cash as because you're mine, I'll walk the line. And I uh, and uh, how do you do? My name is Sue. <laughs> so well, I get out of Johnny Cash. Yeah, because you're mine, I'll walk the line. That could be my theme song. Uh, so it must have been something else. He must have had a, a much larger uh, experience of uh, listening to Johnny Cash than I ever did. <laughs> Look at that. Starting to get there. Ah, let me see. Check something. Do 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 do. Oh, this is a complete washout. Yep. Worthless. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Some things aren't worth doing. Anybody here um, ever go to comicbookplus.com? It's uh, you can download in the, uh, in the public domain comic books. It's where I got just about all my digital copies of uh, Alex Toss Zoros and things like that. And there's other archives of Alex Toth's work. It's one like Brazilian one that uh, has everything he ever did. It's not in the, uh, it's just an out uh, an archive of it, online archive. It's not something you can download in CBRs or anything like that. But still, what's fun to look at? And you can find a uh, great thing about the internet is so you got all these archives of uh, in the public domain. Uh, comic art
So you can find all of Will Eisner's stuff at this place. Not just collections, you know, real scans of the actual um, newspapers. They like the Philadelphia weather or whatever Philadelphia paper you was in. I've forgotten which one. I don't think it was the Inquirer. Some Detroit papers, Chicago papers. <sighs> Beautiful. Okay, let's uh, do grandpa's. Grandpa's, the color of grandpa's uh, outfit here. Because grandpa is a quasi. Quasi Mennonite. Still adheres the old Mennonite ways, which means he does not wear uh, flashy clothes. He wears what? Barely drab, but it's all the same color, maybe a white shirt, which is as close as he gets to the attire of a Mennonite. Doesn't wear suspenders. It might have when he was doing logging, but doesn't log anymore because he's got rheumatism, which is why Blue Boy is a logger. What's old grandpa got rheumatism and couldn't work anymore. Blue boy had to leave school and go to work, which was the way things were done back then. You're lucky if you got to go to school. But being that he's fashioned after an old relative of mine, that we all know him, well, my dad used to tell me about these people. Uh, they can all read, they're all pretty bright. Otherwise, how would they get by in the deep south when actually they're union people? And Bud, whether you like it or not, that meant something back then. Uh, you can get a lot of trouble for being <laughs> for the union back then. Similar to being German during World War One. German was the second language of the United States in the 19th century. Many, many, many people spoke German at home the way people speak Spanish at home now. But after World War I, during World War I and everything, uh, that German stuff just went out of vogue big time. So you're down here in the deep south in 1914. Got to keep your mouth shut about union things and stuff like that. You want to keep your uh, you want to keep the family healthy. Anyway. Okay.
Do 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 do. La 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 la. Is everybody being on the back porch? That was an old thing back then. You would hang out on the front porch, the back porch. Back porch is a little more private. Though in the... You know, if you're living in the country, back porch, front porch, how much difference? And nobody around for a mile or two. When I was a kid, I lived a little on the farm when I was six years old and everything. We were out there in the middle of the sticks, and ain't nobody, there wasn't anybody around for miles. Good place to be when you're six years old. <laughs> I kind of try to fashion all this so the color does part of my work for me. So figuring out what's what and where it goes and how it defines its form. Ooh, la, 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 la. Mm -hmm. la, 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 la. Hey, Louis Romero. Well, I got me a feeling that uh, you're probably right about the dolphins. They made a big boo-boo getting to a... Though, hey, it'd be nice if we were wrong. Because the guy is small for a, a quarterback. Though, Drew Brees is small for a quarterback, too. So maybe a big thing is him staying healthy. And uh, if unless you got a a monster of an offensive line, uh, there's a chance he won't stay healthy because they're gonna go after him. Boy, that young man's gonna get it. Uh, you know, just the way the game's played. You know, you get hit, like getting hit with a Mack truck, and if you haven't got an offensive line, to keep you from getting hit too often. Uh, we'll see how long, if this guy stays healthier or if we have a a season this year. Who knows what's going to happen this season. This is the craziest year. Closing up uh, restaurants as of Thursday. Shh. Man. Once again, we go into shutdown. Ah, oh, boy. Now, nothing I can do about it. I don't run the show. And there's the boys. Mm 
Yep, but I don't run anything. La 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 la. So there's kids. Green uh, outfit helps really establish this. Uh, whole little grouping against that gray works real nice in my humble opinion. But Mr. Romero, what really matters is that the Kansas City Chiefs stay on top. <laughs> so who was it that, uh, um, see, what, who was it that, that uh, signed with uh, the Raiders, I mean the Patriots? Who signed with the Patriots? Who the heck signed for the Patriots? But there in the old comments section, who signed for the Patriots, Lewis? So they're thinking uh, that maybe they'll still be a contender, even though the Gronk has left to go to Tampa Bay. Oh, Cam Newton. Cam Newton signed with the Patriots. Hey, Patriots might... Uh, um, Cam Newton's no uh, a pushover. He's no pushover at all. I don't like that guy. He's a big guy from what I remember. Big, 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 big. Like... Uh, Tom Brady. I mean, yeah, so, you know, if Bilicek can uh, get him in on the Bilicek uh, uh, strategy handbook, boy, he might. Uh, oh, well. I still don't think they're going to be able to give uh, the Chiefs a run for their money. The Chiefs can keep their. Uh, team together, they're going to be a force for a while. That's what I'm all for. This big Chiefs fan is a little boy. In my teens, they are 17 when they won the Super Bowl. and uh, No, just short of my 17th birth. Yeah, what? Well, maybe it was. Yeah, I had just turned 17. That's what it was. I turned 17 in January, and uh, the uh, Super Bowl's at the end of January. Wasn't in the beginnings of February back then. A lot simpler uh, playoff picture. Heck, Chiefs were in the first Super Bowl. Lost to the Packers, but heck. An awful great team back then.
Uh, okay. Let me save that. I think they're saving as I go along. Yeah, I'm going to take a tiny break. Go get me some crackers. I'm hungry. Look back in a second. <laughs> Okay, I'm back. I'm just gonna leave the my headphones off for now. I can still, I can still talk. Got to get some crackers. I'm hungry. Ugh. If you get over it, you set of crackers here. It's hard to open. Up. Everything's housed in plastic. Read an article in the New Yorker this morning. That's something I've been PO'd about for many years. You go out in the middle of the Dad Gum Ocean and it's full of plastic. Not bottles, microplastics. So. It's all over the place. And it's, uh, there's nothing we can do about it. All we can do is try not to add more to the oceans. It's all over the place. And we got it even in our body. Uh, talk about Pandora's box. Millions of years for this ecosystem to arrange itself correctly. I spent a couple hundred years we're on the road to ruining it. Crazy. Okay. Um. Bay, bay, bay. Not this one. I, yeah, he's wearing blue. Uh, <laughs> that didn't work out too well.
way you can do that when everybody uses plastic. Even handguns are made out of plastic now. <laughs> That's crazy. Look, I know anything about handguns, but still. Isn't that eventually going to cause it to fail? Plastic falls apart. Uh, oh, I got it. Have to use for guns. It's going to be a lot of fun to think about in print. Union organizer. Miami, Oklahoma. Uh, let me see. This boy's hair color.
the same hair color. Suspect of uh, Grandpa's red hair. Great to have photographs of all these people so that I can use a little bit of that when I'm fashioning the characters because they all look like my great grandfather and grandmother's family. Every last one of them. It makes it more authentic, I think. Oh, there's that noise again.
Okay, he's not so he's not so close now, so I can uh, unmute this. But a few minutes ago, he's right outside the window. That was pretty bad. So here I would put you through that. Okay. Right, get there. Let me see. Okay, it's not so bad now. I keep muting it when it gets like the guy's right next to my window. Doing this thing. Yeah. And it doesn't last forever. That's why they have soundproof studios when you're recording stuff. Which doesn't happen in this world for me anymore.
Get too close. I ain't trying to these things up, uh, speed up. Tomorrow's Thursday, and ooh, be another golf tournament starting. See what happens then? Bryson DeChambeau really tore things up last week. Don't get used to it, Bryson. You have bulked yourself up to the point where you can. Your club head speed will be 200 miles an hour, but, bud, you're going to tear your back up so bad because connective tissue gets brittle as you get older, and you don't know when that time, when it really becomes impossible to sustain 200-mile-an-hour club head speed and then the attendant torque that comes along with that. You don't know when that's going to happen. When it does, you're going to hurt. You're going to know what pain's all about. So it's just, I, I suspect it's a short-term um, strategy for winning at golf, but I don't think it's a good idea. Don't think it's a good idea. I think you'd be better off being the... A little less bulky and uh, winning your share of tournaments and being able to play into your 40s and 50s whereas you mess up your back kind of problems you'll have with that um, you may never be able to get back to golf you may have to retire there have been several guys David Duval uh, messed up his back. He never won another tournament. He gets to go to the Open every t uh, for the rest of his life because he won it. But that's about it. Uh, he's and I, man, I love David Duval. Man, he's a great golfer. But when he messed up his back, it's over. Make your money while you can, because you'll be going through. A, you're going to need some for um, those back surgeries. Plus, you got some real good um, health insurance. Uh, let's uh, use this color for the yeah. That's the color I'm using for that. Separate all this, this area.
got lots of gardeners in the backyard. That's good. We got a hedge in the uh, outside the, on one side of the house. It's like 15 feet high, so eh. I have to get up on a ladder to do that. I'm beyond that age. And I've already been through that falling off the ladder thing. I don't want to do that again. I can live that out that the rest of my life. Saw a guy <laughs> I saw a guy on YouTube or something like that. Fall off the ladder. The top of his house, he's bounced. He was young. When you're young, you bounce. You bruise yourself or something like that, you're okay. When you get to be in your 60s, like when I was, when I fell off the ladder, you tear things up so bad you can't even move. For weeks. I hurt myself in August. I didn't get back to work till October. Most of that time, I was flat on my back. All that time, I was flat. Flat on my back or in it. First couple of weeks, I was in a, a lazy boy recliner. Horrible. Still on flatters, guys. Unless you're in your twenties and you can bounce. Heck, I fell off the ladder when I was in my forties, and I uh, landed on top of a, a, a dryer, a washing, right next to a washing machine. I was fine, but uh, I was smart enough to I think I landed on my shoulder or something like that. That's fine. I was still strong and full back then. None of that staff lasts forever. Nothing lasts forever, except for, you know, eternity. And, uh, that's cool. Well, I see a little mistake I made there. I'll have to fix that. something back there. I don't know. Have a door back there. Yeah, they didn't cover it, so maybe I won't color it this way there. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. This little boy should have. Let me see how I did over here. Gave it. 
sort of yellowish. a little bit drawing Let's think about this, the way I'm making lines here. There is a traditional way of doing comics that I don't pay any attention to. I just draw whatever happens. 
happens, and that's what happens. Which is sort of the way I fashioned my drawing approach. I made my big breakthroughs in the drawing back in college. It's like, okay, I'm just going to whack this and whatever happens, happens. And not worry about it. I had the most wonderful experience grading papers this um, last weekend. It's what teachers live for. I'd been struggling with this class. Not so much struggling, but just, you know, honing it in. Because the, when you teach, not everybody gets everything you say first time you say it. So you have to keep on repeating yourself. I kept on repeating myself over and over again. How do I want you to document your research when you hand in a paper? We're using art criticism as a foil for learning how to do scholarly formatted papers that have correct work cited, the correct use of MLA, so that you can tell what you're actually referring to in the work cited all nine yards. Well, I started grading these things, and been, there were little problems, as there always are. In the first two papers, which are what I call mini critiques, they, uh, they're not full grade, they're not weighted uh, the way uh, the last paper is the last paper I graded. Everybody got it right. Nobody screwed up, which just is like, okay, that's what I was going for. That's what I was always, that's what you're always working on. Getting everybody on the same page. Now, the whole point of this is that uh, most of my kids aren't going to be artists. They're taking art history for a, credit in the humanities. So what I try to teach them is how to create a excellently crafted argument and then document it. And they got it. Now it's at the, is it, it's the beginning stage. Who knows if they'll develop it later on, but they got it. They got it. They got it. They got it. I just no better feeling to be in teaching than everybody got it. So I just that's cool as it gets that everybody got the, the message, everybody documented correctly, everybody just, you know, whoo. It's cool when you actually do see the results and you have evidence that you taught something and people learned. Whoa. It means you've actually changed somebody's life. Because if you can teach that to a kid and they use it on a regular basis, they have solved the college problem college problem yeah. the college problem is um,
research and documentation. Research correctly, document correctly, uh, and um, build your argument from the concrete to the abstract so that you people know what the heck you're talking about. And they got it. They got it. They got it. It's just cool as all get out. Doesn't get any better than that. So I'm happy as a teacher. So unless I got on the, they will get the stragglers, the people who always, you always get some people in your class who just, just don't want to do anything. Got to do something. Got to do something so they at least get something out of this class. That'll, uh, I'm of the firm opinion all the social ills that we have right now, if you get people out of poverty, you'll have a lot better chance of having a stable society. And the only way you can do that with some education. Once you uh, educate somebody, you give them something nobody can take away from them. I gave these kids something during the semester. If they truly learned it, and they internalize it, nobody can ever take that away from them. They can use that the rest of their lives. It's, it will uh, revolutionize the way they approach uh, knowledge. And that's what education's all about, is teaching somebody how to educate themselves and you, you learn how to go from the concrete to the abstract. You're a long way on the way to doing that. Once you, if you teach people how to really educate themselves and they, once you get, Learn how to educate yourself. You can do anything. Acquire any skill. And your life's going to change immeasurably. And that will take care of the problems that we're addressing right now. And that's the only way it will be done, through education. It's got to be bona fide education. It has to be. You learn how to think. really think, not just uh, think what the teacher's thinking. That can never, that will never work, where you're just a, uh, mimicking what the teacher's saying. I instruct all my students, says, look, I don't make any sense. Tell me I'm not making any sense. Do not have to agree with me. Get your own set of ideas, fine, it's cool. But approach it from a logical standpoint, reasonable, respectful, and uh, you get to say anything you want to. Try not to cuss. If you can do that, oh, you're on your way to being an adult. <laughs> Got a good chance of it. So. firmly the opinion that this whole thing that we're going through as a nation will be fixed by education. I really think it's going to be a classical education. You have to look at Aristotle. You have to understand that even though he didn't know how many teeth were in his wife's mouth, he understood what about life and he understood how to think. I don't think uh, 
some of the modernness that uh, everybody adulates don't think they had a real good uh, handle on thinking. Not really. Too much, uh, probably too much uh, desire to ever to make your mark and uh, be original and stuff like that. And once you found what's really going on, I always used to say, uh, once you found the truth, stop searching and start digging. Start digging, but guys, don't worry about it. If you found it, then great. Now start digging. What's it about? How's it apply? Wittgenstein never even read Aristotle. <laughs> he was proud of it. Okay, so supposed to be the most influential philosopher of the 20th century. Well, I think he got a problem, but yeah. Looks like it's coming together. At least this panel is. I better color that voice. Uh, um, choose. shadows. Okay. We should uh, go into some of this a little too splotchy.
<laughs> of course I did it again. I totally ignored the fact that I have to put in these shadows. Get <laughs> back to the shadows. better. Thank you. 
Okay. Yeah, this uh, thing right here. Let's. Uh, this page so you'll be shaped for this next week. Again, I did it right there. Okay.
Save this to the computer. Yeah, I know that. Okay, so what do we got here? It's 86. 87. That's going to be a spread. That's what it looked like. Okay. That works. That's when things work. And I'm thankful that my little coloring strategy, I'm getting used to it. And uh, it's painterly. It's not cookie cutter uh, coloring. Painterly, it uh, it uh, it quivers the way I want. Uh, oh, way I want um, the the eye to follow along and catch on what I'm uh, constructing. Okay. And I want to say that also on cloud. Yeah. But you can't. See right? Oh, you can't see anything right now because. Oh yeah. <laughs> Here I'll um I'll uh, I'll undo that. Okay. Eighty six. Eighty seven. Uh, that's not eighty seven. Oh crap. There. Stop saving this screen and uh, share the screen. So, what you're really seeing for 86 and 87. There. Now, that's what will be. That's what will be going on. That's a spread that I was saying. So, um, oh, it's like this. Yeah. Yeah, that's what it'll be. So, I flipped that. So now it's, um, let me see. Um, I'm going to do a little redrawing. Hey, let me look. Let me, give me a second.
Okay, I can scan. Uh, I can scan page 88, which will be a lefty. I like that. Looks okay. Yeah. Okay, now I can. Open lefty. Okay, left inside page. And then scan. Hold stop that. Usually it does it anyway. Okay, let's get ready. Try to do it again. Oh, I wonder what's going on. Okay, just scan document. Okay, you didn't do it. We <gasps> just do it in black and white. And you like that? What is happening? This is safe. Kill that. Kill that. Kill that. Uh, okay, whatever is going on, I'll save that. Then I'll save this. Get rid of Photoshop. Shop again. And import from device again. I'll stop it. Yeah. Open oh, view scan. Let's see if it does it. always a workaround. Okay. 
Okay, this is kind of a new uh, feature to this, and I don't like it at all. I want the whole dang thing. I'm not want parts of it. Okay. It's page 88. Tiff, 300 dots per inch, and let's go for it. Okay, so lucky me. Now I'll open up Lefty. Change the size of this to the size that I need for okay. the shift key so I can make it the size I need to fit this. size. So, uh, let me see. But I need a, a white layer. I figured out how to do this. A white layer now. I'm going to block that sucker in. I need uh, three more layers. Watercolor, which I should be able to get from. No, I can't. Oh, it's horrible. Okay, I got it. Um, open up uh, A7. that. Get rid of that. I don't need it. I can, no, I just, I'll just relay it. No, I'll just call it shadow. All these multiply. It's already multiplied. This be multiply. This be normal. Okay, so I usually put this above that. Then I have to uh, lay in my uh, order.
pixels. Again. Dead burn it. Yeah. Oh, you're going to your sister's? Okay, have a good time. Oh, let me give you a kiss. here grab this and move it up a bit Okay. So now, 
Of course, we always just. And maybe even, uh, yeah. Let's leave that on even this high for a Okay. Then, since I've switched the color, shift five. Now let's not make this lefty. Let's make this page 88. Save cloud uh, page 88. Shift the tip. So that's what we got to do tomorrow. So, okay. So, let me see. There is a tradition around here. Show the artboard. And say goodbye. This is Blue Boy Brown Adventures with a Family. Well, this is all about families. Doesn't get any more important than family. Not that. Where are you going to be? So, I'll be seeing you tomorrow. Shorter day because uh, I got a college class, but I'm giving my final test, so it won't take too long. But it meets at the same time, so still be a short day. And then Friday will. 
make sure to finish up page 88. So we'll have uh, 86, 87, 88. We'll have the basically still be ahead at least a week. So that's good. So I will see you tomorrow. Thank mm -hmm. you.